I'm Robert Pyle of Diversified Asset Management, and we're going to review an important article today. The article is called The Need for Wealth Management Before and After You Sell Your Business. This is a VFO Inner Circle Special Report. Here's our disclosure. The Need for Wealth Management Before and After You Sell Your Business. Here are the three key takeaways. A windfall from a sale of a business can present investment management problems that must be addressed. Estate planning can also become a big issue if you sell your business for a lot of money. Assets should also be protected post-sale. Effective wealth management should be an important aspect at all stages of your career. That's because wealth management is designed to coordinate a broad range of components of your financial life over time, from investments to estate planning, asset protection planning, and charitable giving around your needs and wants. It's also designed to coordinate a team of experts to help deliver the financial outcomes you seek. Pre-sale wealth management. Consider the role wealth management can play going into a sale. Advanced wealth planning in areas such as taxes and wealth transfer can potentially enable you to create a situation in which you walk away from a sale with more money in your wallet for you and your family. Usually that's pretty important for most people. For example, Prior to a sale, a high-quality wealth manager may, may be able to stress test the legal and financial strategies you've implemented thus far. In order to assess whether your planning has been effective and is likely to enable you to reach your goals, stress testing often reveals opportunities to refine and improve upon existing strategies and actions which can result in better and more profitable outcomes, which is what most people desire. Unfortunately, we see that most business owners are not paying attention to pre-sale wealth management opportunities. In an AES Nation survey of 208 successful business owners looking to sell their companies, Within the next five years, only about 6%, that's 6% of them are presently taking steps to maximize personal or family wealth. Post-sale wealth management, two key areas to address. The AES Nation research also shows that many entrepreneurs are missing wealth management opportunities post-sale. For lots of entrepreneurs, Creating a successful company is a lifetime endeavor. As a business becomes more successful, it often creates enough corporate wealth for the owner to start to amass significant personal wealth. In this type of situation, a business owner tends to find and work with financial advisors and other professionals to help them implement the most appropriate wealth management strategies. The great majority of business owners expect a financial windfall with the sale of their companies, according to the survey. They anticipate selling for a good price and turning tied up non-financial wealth, meaning their company into liquid financial wealth after the sale. Investment management, some important issues to consider once that expected windfall becomes real include how the assets will be invested and managed as well as advanced planning concerns. The windfall. Investment decisions about the money from the sale are often overlooked because entrepreneurs are focused so intensely on getting the transaction done. Less than a fifth of entrepreneurs who expect a windfall have 
thoughtfully considered how to manage it, according to the survey. A huge influx of liquid wealth can be problematic. If not handled knowledgeably, there's a possibility of serious problems such as outliving the wealth due to ineffective investment management, paying legally avoidable taxes because of failing to integrate investment management with broader wealth planning, planning strategies, and three, making serious financial and legal mistakes that can be problematic economically and personally. Wealth planning, estate, asset protection, and charitable planning are all specialties under the umbrella of wealth planning. Working with professionals who can look at your aims and situation holistically can potentially help you with wealth planning and get you synergistic results. Post-sale, there's usually a need for entrepreneurs to redo their estate plans. For example, the way business assets are being transferred may no longer be viable. Opportunities to transfer ownership can fuel the need for a new estate planning. Likewise, asset protection planning is typically much different when your money is locked up in your business than when it is liquid after the sale. And for many entrepreneurs, philanthropy becomes important when their wealth is liquid. Implications. If you want to maximize your personal wealth from the sale of a business, it can be an excellent idea to do some careful planning going into the transaction. And once you've converted your years of hard work to liquid financial assets. Given the amount of money and the complexities involved, you will likely need to work on work with top of the line wealth managers and other professionals. They will be in a position to help you review any existing plans for effectiveness and put together various strategies that can make good sense given your unique situation and that are aimed at delivering the outcomes you want most. Again, I'm Robert Pyle of Diversified Asset Management. Now you know about the need for wealth management before and after you sell your business. Give us a call if you're thinking about selling your business or click on the link to schedule a call. You can get the full article by clicking on the article link too. Thank you.